they nearly know the way now, lads. Whenever you go through the first one. Right, you're through. You're through the gate. Right, lads, keep up with them now. Come on, lads, keep them moving. Keep them moving. If you get them moving, they'll not stop. They'll walk. Through the gate. Around here, by the brushes, in through the tunnel. You're going to go outside, you're going to come inside. You're going to go outside, you're going to come inside. That's tricky. Oh, this is the, where the crack is. Back through the gates. You're yeah. through the, the, the ring of fire. You're over the jump and then back into the tunnel of love. We built it ourselves then this year, just as a way of getting people to understand pigs. Because a lot of pigs, the amount of people that come up to me and said, my grandfather had a pig, my father had a pig. Kids have never even seen live pigs. They're going into that tent there in awe of the size of some of the pigs. There's Peggy Sue from the Vodafone ad, was a cute little pig in the middle of the, of the road. Now she's a monster. That's not her there. That's her it? there. That's Sue from the Vodafone ad. The, that's the, the enormous guest away pig? Yeah, that's her. How did that happen? So it's the rock and roll lifestyle? Or? <laughs> yeah, she's a bit of a diva. <laughs> uh, Vodafone came to me two years ago and said, could I um, have a pig for, for the Vodafone ad? And I said, mm. yeah, for sure. So we did three different sections of uh, three different ads for the, the Vodafone. Mm. And she's the original. So she's gone to all the shows, Cork, Tullamore. Yeah. She just loves this. She's gone into a diva though. They love interaction with humans. I have a hundred pigs on the farm at any one time mm. and they just love interaction with other people. We bring a lot of schools in and that kind yeah. of stuff. For the pig, the pig is stimulated. The pigs will go back to the yard now tonight, or Thursday night after the ploughing. They'll be here for three days. Yeah. They'll go back and they'll be more agile than the, the ones that have been sitting around right. relaxing. Uh, for us, it gets people into our tent to, promote pigs and see yeah. the different breeds. And yeah. These are rare breeds. There's only 358 of these Oxford, Sandy and Blacks in the world. Okay. And we have 12 of them. Okay. So it's vital that people look after the rare breeds. It's all crossbred hybrid breeding pigs. So we're into pedigree breeding pigs for your freezer, for your breeding going forward. And in terms of the, of the owners, is this something that they can do on a, on a smaller scale? Obviously, they're not going to be setting up Olympic standard courses on their farms but is exactly. this something they do that they have like course, they have runs for them of course yeah anything at all that stimulates you often see lads throwing footballs into the into the pens with the pigs and the pigs will run around after the ball mm. we them brushes are in the, in in all the fields that we have so the pigs love going in around them and brushing up against them uh the cones they love the color of the cones for some reason and they go inside outside inside and if i left them in the field now on friday the pigs would actually do it themselves nearly